Please, Krampus. Krampus, no! no! Listen, bet no! Ooh! Krampus! Yeah, a very easy boss. I thought, I like, I was questioning if this was the gold skeleton key room for a second. Come in, my Liebchen. The decorations are all hung, and the Yuletide feast is ready to begin. Please, take your seat at the table. And for goodness sake, be sure to mind your manners. We don't want anything disrupting the Yuletide festivities. Now sit, sit! Liebchen, you know better than to run in the hall. Such bad manners. Now look what you've done. There will be no Yuletide feast now. Nine. Now you must answer to him. Oh, my poor naughty little Liebchen. Why could you not just be good? Hey everyone, it's the Art of World Lord here, and today was a wonderful day in the spiral. It was the day that the Krampus boss was first introduced to Wizard 101. I did it whenever it first came out, and actually it was kind of funny because my friends and I were farming it for, uh, well, me and one friend were farming it for an hour and a half trying to defeat the boss without knowing any of the cheats, and we kind of were going and fighting to figure them out. Once we figured out that uh, the cheats, what triggered them and such, we went back with a full group, and it was pretty good, pretty easy. Um, and I'm just gonna tell you what our plan was. Whenever we first went in, we knew that if we bladed the, like, the hitter of the group, then, and they didn't cast any blades at all, they would be completely fine. They wouldn't, they wouldn't have their, their blades taken off. And then if we kind of timed it right, if we waited until Krampus used his his weird um, spell where it took all the traps off of him and put them on someone else, then we could put traps on Krampus himself and try to do either a one-shot one hit because the minions just kept on respawning. And so that's what we did. And it turned out to be, work really well. Just make sure... I know this sounds kind of hard to do. My friends and I were both myth. So... It would be fine. So I would boost him, then if he hit and it didn't kill, then he would boost me and we'd go back and forth. But we also had a death with us that would also spirit blade me and put on spirit traps. And then we had an ice wizard who was the tank but would also uh, heal us. Because as far as I know, there's no healing sheets in the dungeon. It was really fun to do. Hopefully you guys can... Uh, figure it out as easy as my friends and I did. Actually, I'm gonna send you guys with a link to the awesome Untold Spiral blog, who at Vanessa, which you've probably seen her on my channel before, she writes her guides to how to fight Krampus. And hers is a bit a bit different than mine. It's, it's basically like the same concept, but she, she goes into it with way more depth than I possibly could. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching. See ya. Bye.